What if I told you that engineers are building a robot, not just a machine, but a synthetic being that sweats, flexes, and moves like you and me? Not in a Hollywood movie, not in a distant future, but right now, in a lab, by a company called Clone Robotics. This isn't just another humanoid bot, this is Protoclone, a musculoskeletal android designed not to imitate humanity, but to become it. Traditional robots are metal skeletons moved by motors. Efficient? Sure. Human? Not even close. The Protoclone is built on a bio-inspired polymer skeleton, shaped, jointed, and proportioned like an actual human body. 206 bones. Fused where necessary, but anatomically faithful. Now here's the magic. It's powered by over 1,000 artificial muscles, called myofibers. These are not electric actuators. They are fluid-driven bundles that contract and relax just like real muscles, providing lifelike motion with over 200 degrees of freedom. It doesn't move like a robot. It moves like us, twisting, reaching, curling its fingers with organic grace. A body like that is meaningless without intelligence. So Protoclone is packed with over 500 sensors, cameras, pressure sensors, IMUs, giving it full environmental awareness. It sees, it feels, it reacts. Not with code, but with context. You're not just looking at a machine, you're looking at a system that understands where it is and how it should move, much like we do subconsciously. And here's the twist that turns heads. It sweats. Protoclone has a built-in evaporative cooling system, releasing heat the same way we do, through artificial perspiration. Think about that. A robot that works hard and starts to sweat. That's not science fiction, that's biomechanics, brought to life. Now, let's not get ahead of ourselves. This version of Protoclone can't walk yet. In demos, it's tethered, supported, more a proof of anatomy than autonomy. Skeptics call it a fancy mannequin, Others call it robot cosplay. But visionaries? They see the future of robotics being rewritten. Because this isn't about brute force. This is about soft robotics. Building machines that are adaptable, responsive, and above all, human compatible. Look at its face. There isn't one. Just a sleek black visor where eyes would be. Clone Robotics deliberately avoids the uncanny valley. No fake eyes, no rubbery smiles. Instead, they offer something futuristic, elegant, a little mysterious. It's not trying to fool us. It's challenging us. What should a machine that lives among us actually look like? The goal is ambitious. Clone Robotics envisions future versions of Protoclone that live in our homes, assist the elderly, help with chores, cook meals, perform delicate tasks with human-like dexterity, and one day, perhaps explore space, repair satellites, or venture into environments where no human can go, but a synthetic human can. We are not just building tools anymore. We are building reflections of ourselves in silicon, in polymer, in muscle. And that raises a bigger question. Are these machines just here to serve us? Or are they mirrors of our desire to recreate life itself? Would you trust one of them in your home? Would you welcome it or fear it? Because one thing is clear, the boundary between human and machine is starting to fade.